Hi guys! So it's quite late but I have an event tomorrow um, and so I thought I would wash my brushes tonight so that they're all clean and dry ready for tomorrow. Um, I thought I'd show you how I clean my brushes, it's very simple, um, probably doesn't need any video explaining it but I did want to share this because I have learned a few tips along the way and I thought it would be useful for some people. So excuse the makeup look because it has been on since 8am and I have been quite busy today. But this is my Style Pro brush cleaner and I absolutely love this. I got it for Christmas and it's literally changed my brush washing game. So this is the device that you use and literally it has a switch here and you press that and then it vibrates and then the light comes on knowing that it's on. The only thing you need to do to get it to work is to put this little, um, I don't really know what you call it, but you put this into the little hole and then it's ready to go. The second part is the brushes. So it comes with lots of different size holders so it fits nearly every single brush. I haven't found a brush that it doesn't fit yet. And basically once you've selected the right brush size holder for your brush, so it's a tight fit. You simply slot the square end into the square end of the tube and it goes. And now if you watch this, it spins around. So once you've got that all set up, this is the last part. So this is where you have, you put your cleaning product. Now I use um, Sam Jensen's brush cleaner and I think this works amazingly. It's specially designed to work with Sengen's brushes. We don't have those in the UK at the moment. But it's also specially designed to work with Sengen's cosmetic products. And it's because our cosmetic products are all long lasting and waterproof that you do need a special brush cleaner for them um, just to make sure it gets it all out. If you look at some of the brushes afterwards, it's such a huge difference in um, the colour pigment on the brush. So I thought, I should probably take some pictures of these one day, but I haven't got time tonight. Um, but I thought I would show you that tonight. So basically, because it is such a concentrated product, like all of our Sunnigent products, you simply need a few drops. So I just put it straight in here. Now that is one tip I learned. Um, I used to mix the brush cleaner with water. And actually that's bad, and I didn't know that. I thought that was a good thing, but... Apparently you're not supposed to, and that's with most um, brush cleaners. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you're literally just going to put the brush into the pot, turn it on, if I can do this one-handed. And one tip I've learned is that you hold this quite lightly and it goes down faster, and then you just swizzle it around in the product. I don't know if you can see that, maybe I'll show you in, the, in a minute, but... It, the colour comes immediately out of the brush, so the colour of the product is already pink um, and I think that's amazing, Like I love being able to see results, so, and it's literally that simple, I just like to get it on the end, it doesn't need to cover your brush at all, it literally does just need to be on the end. So once I've done that, I take it off and then I put this to the side and hopefully you'll still be able to see me and hear me. But this top black bit literally just unclips and you find the right area. <laughs> it usually just unclips anyway. Oh, there we go. So it just unclips from the base. You pour out the product and I will try and show you it. Uh, I don't know how, maybe it's best to show you this way. Can you see that? So that's now pink instead of the cleary blue colour. And that's because that was my blush brush. My blush, yeah, my blush brush. So I just rinsed that out with cold water. And then a tip I have heard and found really useful is that you actually wash your brushes in lukewarm water, especially um, ones that have natural bristles. So you need a little bit of hot water in there as well as cold water. And you don't need very much at all. And in actual fact, the best thing to do is to keep changing out your um, water until you find it completely clear and bubble free. And that's something I didn't know. 
So that is probably a little bit too much, but I fill it about halfway. Don't know if that's a bad angle, but I had to fill it about halfway. And then literally do the same thing. So I turn it on and then I put this in here and I just spin it around. Obviously you can put the black thing back on in case you want to um, prevent splashes, but I don't find it needs it most of the time to be fair. And you can go up and down. And can you see the water is getting a bit more murkier? And the tighter you hold this, the less it spins. So it, you really need a loose grip, which I didn't do the first few times. And I was like, why isn't this moving? But the looser you hold it, the more it spins. And also, you only need the very tips of the brush in. So you don't have to dunk the whole thing in like this. You just need the very tips of it to be touching the water. So I always like to do it at least two times to make sure it is fully clear and there's no bubbles left in because I don't know if you can see this but there is obviously very uh, some studs of the brush cleaner still left in so I rinse it out a couple more times And you can always rinse it around just to make sure it's all gone. Now I'm just going to run through that one more time. Sorry. And now I can see that there's no more bubbles. That means there's no more shampoo left in the brush. So then I'm just going to take it out and you literally just let the brush carry on going round. And when you do this, it dries the brush. I'm just going to wash my hand, I mean dry my hand. <laughs> And you can kind of feel some of the splatters coming off, but really it doesn't take all that long. <laughs> Hi Jess. Um, I don't know if you missed it, but this is the Style Pro brush cleaner. And basically it makes cleaning makeup brushes a dream. Like literally since I got this for Christmas, I now wash my brushes almost every two weeks. And I used to never wash them um, because it, they used to take ages to dry, but this dries them almost instantly. I'd say most brushes dry within a minute. So I'm not going to show you all of it, but as you can see, it's almost all the way dry and I've literally just finished cleaning it. So I absolutely love this. Um, so that's all I use and that's all I do. I'm gonna, that'll probably take another maybe 20 seconds to dry completely. And then when you want to switch them over, you just pop the brush out of the holder and it's ready for the next one. You really do, Jess. <laughs> Um, and then you pop a little, um, I don't know what you call it, maybe a key type thing out of the thing. You can reuse this for your other makeup brushes and then this you put in all the different holders. Um, if you are trying to select them, you do want to select the right size for your makeup brushes. So it comes with lots of different sizes. These are the two that I've been using at the moment. But for example, this one, this makeup brush, probably looks like it fits in this one. And it does fit in this one, but it fits very loosely. So when the machine is going round and round, it will fall out. So you really want a tight fit. So even though it looks the smallest, I would go for this one and it just about fits in. And then it's a really tight fit. So when it's going round, it won't take very long at all. But that's my job for the rest of the night. I'm gonna be cleaning the rest of my makeup brushes. And I hope you guys found that helpful. Literally, it saved my life and it's changed my life as well. Um, and again, I just use the Senegence brush cleaner and then I rinse it out with lukewarm water. So, that's all I do. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. 
or message me and if you I'll try and leave a link to this product um, as well in the comments below so that's it for me tonight I'll speak to you later bye